All right, Johnny, thank you. Well, Clay County, Missouri is among those places reopening for business this morning. KB Stars Martin Augustine is in downtown Liberty this morning to break it down. Martin, there are still restrictions in place, though. Yeah, a number of boxes to check before business owners can open, but boy, that's what they really want to do here on the square in Liberty. In fact, look back here at Huey's on the square. Not only do they have the, the neon open sign on, they posted in the window, open for dine-in. Man, restaurants haven't done that in a long time. But this is a soft reopening of sorts because social distancing is still the rule here, even with the economy reopening. Reopening, excuse me. For example, when it comes to restaurant dining rooms, those places need to have the seating spread out to maintain space. Retail stores, if they're under 10,000 square feet or less, uh, they need to operate at 25% of authorized occupancy. Stores of more than 10,000 square feet, that occupancy figure drops to 10%. It's a, it's a formula in which you're just trying to manage the number of people that are in those stores. And while gyms may reopen under the statewide order, specifically here in the City of Liberty, the Liberty Community Center, which is a gym and pool and theater, that's going to remain closed for now. The city playgrounds will remain closed, but the city parks are open. But if you're on the tennis court or in the dog park, doesn't matter. You need to maintain your social distance from one another. And much of this could change because Local governments are empowered to put stricter guidelines into place. Now, this is a lot of information. In some cases, what is in effect here is not in effect over there. So up on my KBC 9 News Facebook page now, I have links that describe uh, the reopening of the economy on the statewide level at Clay County and what they're doing here in Liberty. Reporting live in Liberty, Martin Augustine, KBC 9 News. Martin, thanks so much. Well, in Kansas City, Missouri, a few businesses will be allowed to open this Wednesday, like salons and barbershops. Other businesses won't be allowed to reopen for a little while longer. On May 15th, the city's 10-10-10 plan will take effect. Only 10% of the building's capacity or 10 people will be allowed inside, whichever is greater. Anyone staying longer than 10 minutes will have to sign in and leave contact information. This morning on KBC, Mayor Lucas joined us. We asked him about his message to anxious Kansas City residents watching their neighbors reopen this morning. You know, I think the thing that we always try to make clear to people is this fundamental rule, which is that we're all trying to protect your safety and no one needs to actually go out any sooner than they feel comfortable with. You know, I've talked to a lot of businesses. I talked to a restaurant on Saturday night in Kansas City, and they said we're not even opening on the 15th when they're allowed to in this city. Um, you know, the way we balance rules is, first of all, to note that it'll be a, probably a short time frame that we're seeing this difference between jurisdictions. But the bigger part is I think people know no matter where they are, every leader is trying to make that choice that allows their community to stay safe. Jackson County will reopen a week from today on May 11th and will release details this week. Well, Kansas counties that have not extended stay-at-home orders will be allowed to lift restrictions today as the state moves into the first phase of its recovery plan. Game size Donna Pittman live from home this morning to break down what's allowed to open and which counties are staying shut down. Hey, Donna, good morning. Good morning again, Rob, to you. Yes, a lot to break down just, just in the state of Kansas, as is the case in Missouri, where Martin's reporting from. Uh, both uh, So Kansas' stay-at-home order, as you likely know, that was lifted last night. It expired at 11.59. However, it does not apply to all parts of Kansas. Business certainly is not business as usual as we start this reopening process. Some counties, they are allowed to take some small steps to get the economy rolling today for our starters. Restaurants Restaurants can open if tables are separated by six feet. Churches can also reopen, but only if members practice social distancing. Now, bars, theaters, museums, they will stay closed. Now, as for social gatherings, get-togethers, the statewide ban on groups larger than 10 people, that remains. Two area counties will not be reopening today. We're talking about Johnson and Wyandotte counties. They're both under stay-at-home orders until a week from today. That is May the 11th. And they both have a different plan when it comes to reopening on that day, May 11th. Johnson County will be participating in the state's recovery plan. As for Wyandotte County, they're hoping they'll be able to enter phase one of their plan in both counties, Wyandotte and, and Johnson County, they are looking at the data very closely, very carefully to see how things go with COVID-19 before deciding what the next step will be. Reporting live from home, back to you, Rob. Yeah, thanks so much, Tony. Yeah, really a lot going on. Everyone just doing the best they can in these unprecedented times. Thanks so much. Well, meanwhile, health officials, they have these recommendations as the first phase of reopening begins, what Donna's discussing. Make sure you follow your county or your city's restrictions. Stay at home if you're sick. 
wear masks in public settings, keep six feet or more away from other people, and continue to wash your hands frequently. Well, a representative for Triumph Food says 373 employees and contract workers have now tested positive for COVID-19 at the company's plant in St. Joseph, Missouri. None of those workers have shown any related symptoms. Well, we're told that the Missouri Department of Health and Senior Services is working with the company, tracking people who are in close contact with those employees. And while some people don't show symptoms of coronavirus, many do. Now, here's what you need to look for. Things like fever, cough, shortness of breath, chills, repeated shaking with chills, muscle pain, headache, sore throat, and a new loss of taste or smell. If you have any of those symptoms, make sure you isolate yourself and call your doctor for instructions. Remember, most people recover from COVID-19 at home. And people in Jackson County in Kansas City, Missouri can get tested for coronavirus this week. Truman Medical Center has mobile testing set up at a different location each day. Today it's at Metro Christian Fellowship Church in Grandview. You need to call ahead and talk with a nurse to get tested. That number to call is 816-404-CARE. Also, if you live in Platte County, you can get tested even if you don't have symptoms. Or before you're tested, you need to use the online self-reporting tool. It's on the Platte County Health Department's website.